Hi everyone, my name is Iza. Hi, my name is Aina. I am Fira. In this video, we would like to present our mini flower windmill model and how does it work. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, first, you need a cardboard, piece of paper, candle, straw, glue, wooden stick, and finally, scissor. Okay, first step, you need to stick the straw on the surface of the cardboard using a glue. Move to the next step, you need to cut the straw in the middle and put the wooden stick into the straw. And, you need to cut the wooden stick to make it shorter using a scissor. Before I proceed to the next step, you have to sketch a flower on a paper and cut it according to its shape. Once the cutting is done, fold the flower's petal and attach it on the peak of the wooden stick. Finally, four candles are placed under the flower. And this is the final result. We can see that the flower started to swing. But wait, how does the model work? As the candle lit up, the air expands by the heat receiver and warm up the nearest area to become less dense. This one low density air will rise up and replace the lower temperature area at the top applying buoyant force Archimedes principle. The lower temperature air will be pushed down because more denser compared to the warm air. Then, the low temperature air gradually warm up at the bottom and become less than and rise up again. As the cycle continues, the system for a circular flow pattern known as convection current. Heat convection allows the power to rotate just like a windmill, but this one is powered by thermal. So, how does heat convection contribute to our life? While you are on a vacation, imagine yourself to be on a beach in a day broad light. Toes on the sandy, warm beach. Do you ever feel the strong breeze? Well, heat convection is the key. To explain this, we all know the land near the sea is warmer in the afternoon. Heat convection causes the air on the land surface to be warm, changing its density to be lower. Then, the air will rise up. Meanwhile, the breeze that we feel during the day comes from the sea to replace the warm air on the land. This is what we name it as sea breeze. However, during the night time, the land has the tendency to cool down. The air above the sea water tends to be warmer compared to the land and it will rise up applying heat convection concept. Then, the air above the sea water will be replaced by the cool air from the land. This is what we call as land breeze. Now, stay with your vacation thoughts and imagine that you saw a hot air balloon in the blue sky. How does it float to begin with? A heater is used to heat up the air inside the balloon which allows the hot air with low density to move upward, causing the balloon to rise up. But when the hot air balloon needs to land, some of the hot air is released and replaced by cold air. So, the hot air balloon slowly goes down and lands safely. Heat convection is also applicable to the nearest thin wheel confined and that is boiling water. Applying the same concept, when the water heat up from the burner above, the water at the bottom becomes warmer and less dense because of thermal expansion. The warm low density water rises up, replacing the cooler part of the water at the top meanwhile the cooler water moves toward the bottom to be heat up goes on and forming a circulation pattern that's why we can see the bubble pop up at the top of water to conclude heat convection involves movement of molecules that carry energy and distribute from a higher temperature region to lower temperature region eventually the heating process affects the air molecules that contributes in convection process as the cycle gradually continues this system forms a convection current. 
that's all from us thank, thank you for watching, watching.